Crossley Thurlow Estate Farms Limited uh, on the Suffolk Essex Cambridgeshire border um, and I'm the farm director um, for the estate which is 4,800 hectares of combinable crops. Uh, the estate has run Class Combine since the early 2000s uh, through Straw Walker, Hybrid and now the latest 780s with 13.8 metre headers. Uh, the current machines are contract hired so that we have fixed, a fixed cost for the next five years. If we owned the machines we wouldn't know what their resale value was, we would have tied up a huge amount of capital that we don't need to do. With contract hire the fees are tax deductible every year. Um, over the last five years we've run 770s with 10.5 metre headers to match our 40 metre tram lines but uh, now we've moved to three widths of 13.8 uh, metre headers so that we can actually control our traffic even more than we could before. When the 770s were bought um, the widest header wasn't available in the UK and we weren't ready to make that move. Uh, when we're running three combines together, it's very important that the logistics are not compromised, so we have plenty of chaser bin capacity so that combines don't get in the way of each other and can clear fields in a logical fashion. Some fields are harvested with all three combines together, and smaller fields are harvested by one combine, and one combine will leave a field before the other two, so in any short work, the efficiency is not reduced either. Because class has been on the estate for since the early 2000s, a certain amount of familiarity with the machines is important to the operators. Uh, class telemetry has been around on combines for a long time now and probably the reports and information available is ahead of the game. We find it extremely useful that our yield monitoring is automated so the operators don't have to start and stop field records because the field boundary is always pr already pre-programmed into the combine. Another benefit of telemetry is that we can uh, monitor efficiency of our machines quite simply. It would not be possible to run three machines and check their efficiency without telemetry. Each morning we receive a report which shows the performance from the previous day, whether it's the breakdown of efficiency through the day or whether it shows the output and the grain moisture and yields from the previous day as well. So, so this, this bar chart shows us the total time we worked on the particular day um, and then we show the unloading on the go, unloading while idle and turnaround time. Um, process time, which is the actual operation of the combine, is the, is the green part. This isn't a particularly efficient graph because we had several moves in the day and a lot of small fields. The, these are where the combines are now and they're currently cutting around the headland of a new field. It's very useful in the mornings, that at 7 o'clock in the morning we can go on the telemetry website and see exactly where the machines have got to the night before and we can also see how much fuel is in a tank of a combine at any point in time and with the Fleet View app we should be able to see that from our smartphones which is a, which is a feature that we want our chaser drivers to have available to them as well.